Hey, this is Lance. We recently put out this blog post called Debugging Deep Asians with Langsmith. And the big idea here was connecting Langsmith, as a system of record for your traces, with code agents, like deep agents, but it could be other code agents, like clock code, to create kind of an iterative feedback loop. So you're having a code agent to produce some Langchain or Langgraph code that's being run. Traces are going to Langsmith, and there's a way for the code agents to pull traces back, reflect on them, and update your Langchain and Langgraph code. That's the feedback loop we want to implement. Now to support this, I recently created this little utility called Langsmith Fetch. It's super simple. All it is is just a command line interface for Langsmith. You can just very easily fetch recent traces or threads in any given project. Now let's see that in action. I'm in a project that has a single file agent.py. This is just our boilerplate agent demo from the docs. I will open up terminal create a virtual environment, activate it. And I'm going to pip install Langsmith fetch, as well as the dependencies needed for my script, just like this. Cool, that's all done. And I'm going to create a new Langsmith project, test Langsmith fetch. This means that traces that I run here are going to be logged to that particular project in Langsmith. Let's just run the script. I see a new project created in my tracing projects. And I'm going to try to use a Langsmith fetch utility to grab the most recent trace. All you need to do is just Langsmith fetch traces. By default, it'll grab the most recent one. It'll automatically fetch from the project set in the environment and we can see it grabs the recent trace. Great, okay, that's all great. It's not super interesting, but it's a starting point. Now let me show a code agent. I'll start with Claude code, executing a similar workflow. So I spin up Claude, and I'll tell Claude to run this script, agent.py, and then use the Langsmith Fetch utility to grab the trace. And I'm gonna tell it to just use the help command in Langsmith Fetch to learn how to use the CLI. Cool, it wants to run agent.py, great, I'll let it do it. Now it's now it wants to run Langsmith Fetch Help to learn about this CLI. Great. And it indeed, we'll call the correct command here. Langsmith Fetch Traces. It supplies a directory, which is nice, and it will specify it only wants the most recent one. So that's all great. Found the trace, saved it locally. Good. It's reading it. And there we go. Now Claude gives us a trace summary of everything that happened in our invocation of agent.py. Now this seems kind of simple, who cares, but it's actually pretty useful. Once code agents can connect up to traces in Langsmith, then you can implement things like a feedback loop. Run some code, trace will be logged to Langsmith, code agent can read the trace, reflect on it, and make updates. So I use this all the time for iterative refinement of things like prompts, or correcting errors, or improving code, for anything that's being traced to Langsmith. So it's very generally useful. Now it's a bit tedious to have to tell Claude code about this CLI every time. So we can just create a skill for it. Here's some instructions. Create a global Claude skill in this directory. Then instructs Claude code how to use Langsmith fetch. Use the help command to learn about it. Follow the skill creation guidelines here. And easy enough, let's kick that off. Good, grabs the docs. It's also running the command. Cool, it's gonna make the skills directory. Good, and it will create the skill.md. Very nice. We can open up that skill.md that it created, and we can see here is our skill. Pretty nice. So this YAML front matter gets loaded into Claude every time we kick off a new session, and it's going to invoke this skill anytime we say something like grab or fetch get traces from Langsmith. And it tells Claude all about our CLI, which is quite nice. Now let's shut down Claude, kick off a new session. We'll ask it to list its skill. Good. There's our user skills. Fetch Langsmith traces is now there. Ask Claude to grab the most recent Langsmith trace. And perfect, it will use our skill. Good, and it just automatically knows how to use our fetch utility, fantastic. Grabbed a few traces and saved them all locally, fantastic. Okay, so look, now you know how to connect Claude code to Langsmith really effectively. And this is fantastic for doing iterative debugging, like using Claude code to help you build a LangGraph agent. You want to use traces from agent invocation to help Claude code know what to improve, such as the prompt, such as the agent code itself, such as the tools. Now let me show this all with the deep agent CLI and the principles are extremely similar. You can think about deep agent CLI as an alternative that's open source to Claude code. Now there's one subtle difference I wanna explain. I'm gonna start deep agent CLI with two environment variables set. One is the deep agent's Langsmith project. The second is Langsmith project for general tracing. Now why am I doing this? Here's the issue. The deep agent itself will trace to a project, and that can be configured. Right here, specifically, this deep agent's Langsmith project is the project name where all the deep agent specific traces will go. But any code that the deep agent attempts to execute will be saved to your default Langsmith project. This is really nice because it separates all the deep agent tracing itself from any code it's executing with, for example, its shell tool. Now let's see an example of this. 
I'm in a repo. Here is agent.py. It's just a different agent file. Very simple, though. Kick off deep agents with those two environment variables set. Great. And deep agent kicks off. Now, what's neat is you can actually see the two different Langsmith projects that's going to be using. One is the deep agent itself will be tracing to this agent traces test, and anything it executes will just be saved to the Langsmith project by default that we set. Now, let's tell the deep agent to run agent. And we'll tell it to just go ahead and run the script as it is. Cool. So now it's going to call the shell tool to simply run the script. We approve that. Perfect. Ran the script, but the script does not produce any results, which is exactly what we expect. Now let's go ahead and check the traces. Okay, perfect. We can see tracing in two different projects here. Agent traces test, test Langsmith fetch. Let's first check this. Perfect. So this is the trace that just ran. Cool. And this is all what we just ran. This was the initial invocation. This is when we specified that I wanted to run option one, which is just to run the script. And this was the response. I went ahead and ran the script. You can see the shell tool here. So this is actually a subtle but very cool point. You can actually log everything that Deep Agent is doing to Langsmith, which actually is quite nice for some other patterns I'll show in a future video. But the point is, that's all going to log to one Langsmith project. And now the shell tool was used to actually run our script, agent.py. That was logged to a separate project, this test Langsmith fetch. So we can see this was our invocation of the agent. What is 3 plus 4? Perfect. And the full trace is here. Now let's tell the deep agent to use Langsmith Fetch CLI, which I've already installed in my environment, to get information about the most recent trace in the project. Cool. And it's going to ask me to run this shell command. That's exactly what you expect. And very good. It read that and it run the traces command to get the most recent trace. Again, it can specify limit one, it can specify format, and save it to this particular folder. Perfect. Run. And perfect. It grabbed the trace and now it can summarize the user message. What is three plus four? All right, this is perfect. So what's happening is it's using Langsmith Fetch to grab the most recent trace in our project, which again was our agents right here, agent.py, that the deep agent ran, and it fetched the trace, it reflected on it, gives us a summary. So same principle we saw in Cloud Code, but now running in deep agents, very nice. So let's just create the same skill that we already use with Cloud Code. I'll make a directory for it. Again, skills live in your home directory, deep agents. This is the default agent skills and fetch lines with traces create the skill.md and i'll just paste over everything that we already created before and then just run deep agents skills list search around and there it is our new skill is just picked up run deep agents supply lines with project that you want to actually use for fetching traces ask it to fetch the most recent traces perfect and ask me some follow-up questions because it read in the skill it understands how to use Langsmith fetch and i'll say go ahead cool and you can have it like read and summarize the most recent trace as an example perfect so let's kind of pull back and what have we done here one is clear that the ability to connect Langsmith as a system of record for your traces with code agents is very very useful because Langsmith is a great way to capture invocations of agents as an example long trajectories the code agents are great for reflecting on those trajectories and making updates to your system prompt, to your tools, or your agent harness. So you want to connect these two worlds. A good way to do that is a very simple command line utility that just allows these agents to easily grab Langsmith data. You just want something nice and simple and crisp. That's what Langsmith fetches. Super simple CLI, grab traces. It's designed to work with code agents. The help command is very descriptive, so it can just code agents can just read that help output and use that to know what to do. Basically, it works very nicely as we saw with Cloud Code or with Deep Agents. And in both cases, you can just introduce a skill for with Langsmith, which encapsulates whatever logic you want about how to use this utility. So this is very useful. It's great for debugging. And hopefully this is a helpful intro to using Langsmith Fetch with various code agents in a practical way for the debugging workflow. Thanks.